Welcome to the Machine Learning Projects with TensorFlow 2 video course. My name is Ionescu Vlad Sebastian, or Vlad for short, and I will be your tutor for this course. Let me tell you a little about myself first. I am a university lecturer with a PhD in machine learning. I am also very passionate about data structures and algorithms and programming competition type problems involving these. I have been using Python and a lot of its frameworks and libraries for teaching and for my research endeavors. I am lucky enough to be able to say that I have been doing it both for fun and professionally. Most importantly, I hope that the content we've prepared will advance your knowledge and that you will enjoy studying it. Let's talk a bit about the course overview. Here are the topics we will cover. We will have five sections and we will build a project in each of them. Due to time constraints, they are not going to be 100% industry quality projects. You will have to do some work yourself to get them to that level. But we will cover most of the important concepts and show the most widely used techniques so that you get the most value out of them. Just remember, you must put in work yourself in order to properly absorb the necessary knowledge and skills. In the first section, we will use a real-world Airbnb dataset that contains data about New York properties for rent in 2019 on Airbnb, including their price. It is a simple dataset and makes a good fit for your first project in order to introduce various TensorFlow 2 features and get comfortable with machine learning in general. We will build machine learning models that will suggest a price you should charge for your own property after inputting some of its features. Section 2 will have us tackle a slightly more complex task. UFC, or the Ultimate Fighting Championship, has grown tremendously fast in the last few years, been the largest promotion of its kind, and everyone from bookmakers to fighters to fans would stand to gain something if we could get some computer-aided insights into the upcoming fights. We will show how we can do that with machine learning in general and TensorFlow in particular. Section 3 will see us moving away from classical prediction problems and venturing into the field of natural language processing. We will see how we can implement machine learning algorithms that are able to extract style information and generate their own original text in the same style. In section 4, we move even further away from the classic tasks in machine learning. We will leverage TensorFlow's reinforcement learning library, TF Agents, to achieve state-of-the-art results on a Pac-Man environment. We will focus on a strong understanding of the algorithms and grasp their underlying details with a practical approach. In section 5, we return to the classics a bit, with an image classification project. Transfer learning is the process of taking something trained on one dataset and using it to make or help make predictions on a different but similar dataset. We will leverage the features of TensorFlow 2 while building a project in which we will implement a competitive classifier for a Kaggle dataset by leveraging the advantages of transfer learning. There are some prerequisites you will require to be able to properly follow along with this course. So first of all, a basic knowledge of Python is recommended, but if you are confident in your abilities to learn as we go along, it's not a strict requirement. Basic knowledge of machine learning is not needed. We will cover all the necessary basics ourselves, but it will help if you have some. For software requirements, we will require that you have Jupyter with Python 3.x installed, but this will be detailed in the next videos. Hardware requirements, we require anything that can run the software, so Jupyter with Python 3.x, and a good gaming GPU will help, but again, it's not mandatory. Here is the target audience that we have in mind. So first of all, we are addressing developers with limited data science or machine learning expertise who want to expand their knowledge. Before I move on, I just want to say that you shouldn't worry if you don't fully fit into any of these categories that we will present here. You can still get useful stuff out of this course, you can still learn new and interesting things, and it can definitely still help with your career as long as you work in something IT related. 
Next, we're addressing data scientists and machine learning engineers who want to enhance their skill set in machine learning by learning how to use TensorFlow to build real world projects. And last but not least, this course will appeal to anyone who has a basic understanding of machine learning concepts, Python and TensorFlow, and they want to build these basics. Here are a few of the key features of this course. So we will learn how to leverage TensorFlow 2 features to train state-of-the-art machine learning models on real-world Kaggle datasets. We will implement projects involving state-of-the-art techniques in areas such as reinforcement learning and transfer learning, which are very hot areas of machine learning research and development at this time and in the foreseeable future. And finally, we will learn how to code machine learning projects like top industry professionals and therefore how to enhance our employability. It will improve our skill set, which in turn will increase our market value. So without further ado, let us get started.